up everybody? I'm Paul with 3D World and today I'm going to go over how to properly mold a 3D printed face mask to your face. This mask was originally designed by Copper 3D and then improved by Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe. I started applying the mask using a heat gun and I found the process to be awkward and uncomfortable. I had to go back and forth from the mask and the table to my face a number of times and even burn myself a little bit. I switched over to using hot water and I had a much better result. Before you dip your mask in the hot water, you're gonna to wanna to remove the caps. If you leave the caps in, they will get stuck as the PLA expands from the heat. Next tip is to do this in front of a mirror. Do it in front of a mirror, you can get an even and symmetric fit as close as possible to your face. You're gonna to wanna to flip the chin strap in and up to contour your chin and make sure that you get it inside of this brim. So you're gonna go up and in and then you're gonna fold the mask towards your cheeks and push down the nose flaps towards your nose and cheekbones. That way you'll get a nice close fit. Let's get into it. Water up to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I pour it into my dish. Then I'm gonna submerge my mask into the dish. Flip it over. I'm going to let it get warm. Just let it sit there for a minute. Now when you pull it out, you might think it's really hot, but it really doesn't hurt your face. Just get right into it while it's moldable. Push the bottom flaps up and in. Push the nose flaps down. Contour to your cheek. The only part I really want to get again is the nose. And good, so we got a pretty good form to my face here. Then from there I'm going to finish it up by putting a little bit more material in where we have these air gaps. But that was a lot smoother than using the heat gun. So I hope this helped you out and we'll get back into putting some foam around and touching this up and adding an elastic band. Here's how the mask looks and now I'll show you how to solder a little bit of extra PLA material in where we have some air gaps by the chin. So I realized it is efficient to take the heat gun after you mold it to your face with the hot water just to push in the area on the chin strap before you take the soldering tool to that area. So just take the heat gun and you're going to heat up along this seam here. And then you'll have less area that you need to solder. It'll save you time. It's probably very hot right now. but just gonna push it together and try to let it dry like that. And now I have a very small area that I'm going to have to solder. So that's good. Now all we have is just that little area to worry about. I'm going to take a little bit of PLA, I'm going to stick it inside right in these little air holes and melt it on top. And then you can kind of move it around a little bit with the soldering stick. Careful not to burn yourself. Try to show it as much as possible. Pretty good. So you gotta get the chin flap edge and the mask itself for it to hold.
I add some foam. So find a piece that fits the chin nicely. This is the reusable uh, shopping bag. The material is called non-woven propylene. It's a plastic and it's shown good results in filtering out very small um, particles. So you're going to put those inside of the mask before you add the honeycomb cylinder. And on top of that honeycomb cylinder you're going to put a cotton swab or makeup remover um, pad and it's it's a good idea to just use the honeycomb disc as a template to cut your cotton swab and your propylene discs from so you know that they're going to fit well. All right, so then you're gonna put in your honeycomb discs. And then add in your cotton swabs on the top. You can screw in your caps. You can also Use one of your cotton swabs with a little bit of alcohol to disinfect the mask. Here's a look at the finished product. I'll leave a link to some of the materials that I use below. This is foam, this is elastic. I found this elastic on Amazon and I use Loctite Super Glue to mend it together. I'm not guaranteeing that it's medical grade, but with the filters, there's a lot of research out there that point to their effectiveness. I can tell you it'd be a lot safer wearing this than wearing nothing at all. And in this time where the pandemic's rolling around, I just want you all to stay safe. And I want to thank you for watching. Take care.